We got kicked out of the Airbnb, y'all. Mind you, we was already at the club, finna get in the club. So I told my mom, I said, we finna stay at the club. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into how I got scammed. But ask me, did you vlog? Did you vlog? No, I'm getting drunk. It's not free. You don't do my nails for free, so you don't get lipstick for free. You know? Don't get in my comments talking that. Cause I don't do that. I don't go back and forth negatively, period. Walk in your trap and take over. Over. Name another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a show. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Getting wiser and my money getting older. I need bitch. I ain't even gonna hold it. I need bitch. And I thought that they told you. I'm in a rush. And I woke up at 9. How do you wake up at 9 and you're still in a rush? Hey, Bougie Bag. This is Barbie. And I am back with another video. If you're a turn subscriber, hey, if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and join the Bougie Crew. Because this is Bougie Bag. Right period. So I'm on my way to get my nails done. And I woke up at 9, actually 8.55. And I'm still running late. I was supposed to be there by 10.30, but I'm still finna stop and get me a Jama Juice because I want to. And that's what I'm about to do. And they just gonna have to wait. So, um, yeah, so I'm about to go to get my nails done. I'm gonna get these taken off. Um, I have to use this brand. Well, I don't necessarily have to. This isn't a sponsored video. This is something they sent me a long time ago and I told them that I would like, you know, use it. <laughs> um, but that's when I wasn't like charging for people to send me stuff. That's when I didn't have as much subscribers. I probably only had like 30,000 subscribers then. So they were just like, oh, can we send you some nail polish? And I was like, sure. Um, yeah, so this is the, um, nail polish. It's from Nail Addict. And I'm basically just gonna, I haven't used gel in so long because I always get powder. But I'm basically just gonna tell Sarah to just do some, you know, probably use each color. So I'm probably just gonna tell Sarah to just use each color, like, on each nail. And then put some rhinestones. I've seen an inspo, a nail inspo. I think I want that, but I just want different colored nails. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I really can't do too much talking right now because I'm trying to get to where I'm going, and when I'm talking, it slows me down. Like when I feel like I'm like, it just I just feel like this is slowing me down right now. So and I gotta drive and I have to pay attention. So with that being said. I'm gonna end this right here and when I get done get my nails done, then I'll get back in the car with y'all and chat on the way back home. Okay? So I'll see y'all in a minute. Yeah. Take a receipt? Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you. So I had to come to Chick fil A. I was gonna go to Jamba Juice, but Sarah told me she wants a fries for Chick fil A. And I was like, you know, Chick fil A don't sound too bad. So I pulled up a Chick fil A to get, give me something to eat too. Now, if I didn't want Chick-fil-A, I wouldn't gonna come over. Cause I was gonna get Jamba Juice, I was gonna get a smoothie and a waffle from Jamba Juice, but I might as well get some food food so it'll hold me until later because I don't even know what I'm gonna eat later. Anyway, so I got a chicken biscuit and some french fries and, and a lemonade. Um, so you guys, um, I guess we could talk about, you know, um, what did I have? My anniversary event, my anniversary event on October 17th was so much fun. Like, that was the best day I've ever had in my life. Like, it was so much fun. Like, there was no bad vibes. Like, everybody had a good time. Like, I wish I could have filmed the whole thing. If you go to my Instagram, you can see, like, there's a little one minute snippet of it. But that doesn't even like, I mean, it does like, ex like explain the vibe a little bit, but I'm telling y'all like, it was so amazing. I had a time of my life. I actually didn't think it was going to be that much fun. Honestly, I really didn't. What's up with all these things flying around? Um, but yeah, it was so much fun. Like all my friends came, my family was there. I flew my cousins in to come because I really wanted them to come because they be turned up. They came and then we had went out afterwards. We got kicked out of the Airbnb, y'all. Oh, I don't even 
didn't want to get on this store. So we coming out of the Airbnb, wait on our um black truck. Black truck was already there. So we wait on this girl, this girl that I had, she had bought a ticket to come and she been she was throwing up for a for a long time. She she was throwing up for a while. So we like, we finna go, sweetie. Her her man was outside. So we was like, we finna go. Like, and I'm like, y'all go get her. And like we just all trying to like hurry up and get in the car because we don't want, you know, the Uber to leave, blah, blah. So we're kinda loud outside. So, mind you, we're, we're, when I had my Airbnb, I was only supposed to have like eight people there. It was about 30 people there. And um, so, I don't understand how, like, hold on, this is mine. Is that mine? Yes. There you go. Can I have one more? Can I have like two more chocolate sauce? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. I'll be back with that. Okay. So mind you, I was only supposed to have like eight people. It was about 30 people there. And I thought we was gonna get kicked. We, we we even had a DJ and I thought we was gonna get kicked out, but we never did. Tell me why we got kicked out at the end while we was trying to tell this girl to come on, come downstairs. We was all outside, so I guess we was kind of loud. This man, this Caucasian man, came outside cussing us out, talking about get the f away. I'm about to change the locks. I guess it was his um property or whatever. Um hold on. Thank you, you too. So I'm guessing it was his property. Well, he built he built them. Can I get out? He actually built the freaking things. But the lady uh, that let us in and gave us the keys, I guess she's like, I don't know how it works, but I just know that he actually built those homes. So he was like, I'm about to change the effing locks. Like he was cussing us out. Man, I was so mad. Like everybody was going off on him. And I was like, y'all, let's just go. Let's just go. So we ended up leaving. And my mom ended up calling me saying the lady from the Airbnb called her. And she was like, well, y'all gotta go. Come get everything. Mind you, we was already at the club for to get in the club. So I told my mom, I said, we finna stay at the club. <laughs> so she was like, I'm gonna go to, over there and get everything, blah, blah, blah. So she went and got everything for us. And she went and got my car because my car was still there. Everything was still there. Like, how y'all gonna put us out at 12 in the morning? Like, what? Was it 12? Yes, it was like 11.45. How y'all gonna put us at the Airbnb that late? Like, why are y'all so mad? Like, <laughs> I don't think I was gonna stay at the Airbnb anyway. I was gonna go back home. But the people that wanted to stay there, they could have stayed there. But y'all trying to put us out for what? Like, because we black. That's why. Like, I'm so sick of people. Like, we had a good time. Like, why all of a sudden y'all want to put us out now? When we, when I had a whole freaking house party and I wasn't even supposed to have a house party. Now, all of a sudden, when we getting ready to leave, y'all want to put us out. I guess that was the last straw. <laughs> I guess they was like, I'm going to let them make it. I'm going to let them make it. And then when we got outside, it was just over with. So, they put us out. I mean, but we didn't really care. We went out. And then after we went out, we went to another after spot. And we had a good time. And it was a laugh the next day. Like, we weren't really tripping. As long as I was able to have my party, that's all that mattered. Because, mind you... Y'all, it's a long story. I got scammed and everything. I gotta tell y'all a whole story about this. Like, I just put up at the nail shop, so I'm gonna tell y'all a whole story when I get when I leave. Cause y'all gotta hear this. It's the shape for me. We haven't even got started yet, but it's the shape. <laughs>
Sarah seen my shoes. They Balenciaga. Guess what she called them? Sarah. What? Just say it one time. <laughs> what you call these? What you call them? Okay. Vietnamese say Balenciaga. <laughs> what about non Vietnamese? Vietnamese Balenciaga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just got done. Um, so I'm basically I'm I'm not gonna get into I'm not gonna get into how I got scammed, but just know I was scammed out of my Airbnb. I had my Airbnb planned. I had it ready two weeks before. Day comes, boom, no response, no address, nothing. Like I said, I'm not gonna get into it because I get mad all over again. But, um, so the day before comes and he's telling me, he was like, yeah, I'm gonna send you the address, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna get you the address, blah, blah, blah. Before we wait for a day comes. The day before comes, it's Friday. I'm like, okay, can I get the address? My event is tomorrow, I need the address never responds doesn't say anything so basically i'm calling around searching on the website airbnb can't find nothing um i tried other websites like brbo um what else did i try another one that my friend told me to look up and then i tried i just tried to look up so many different airbnbs and i couldn't find anything so which brings me to how i got the airbnb through the lady that we got kicked out of so we i found her and she was my last resort it was for a two night stay but i only needed it for one night but i had to pay for two nights because it was minimum two night stay even though i was only staying for one night so i had to pay 1800 i paid 1800 for this airbnb for not even two nights really not even a night because we got kicked out like i said but <laughs> yes, yeah, so I paid eighteen hundred, and I did not want to pay eighteen hundred for this Airbnb. But I was like, man, it's our last resort. We can't find nothing else. We did find this other um, spot on um, on this app, um, but the dude—it was a nice big house. Hold on. It was a huge house, but it didn't have any furniture. And he was like, there's no furniture in the house. You can still Airbnb, but there's no furniture. Like, you can still throw your event in it, blah, blah, blah. But you have to bring your own furniture. We didn't have time to do all that. We didn't have time to go try to find a truck, try to see how we're going to get furniture in there and all this. But it was a nice house. It was big. It was perfect. But I was just so mad because they didn't have any furniture. So, me and my mom, we thought about it for a minute. And we was like, he's trying to charge us like 1700 Wait, he was trying to charge us like 1300 I believe. He was trying to charge us, no, 15. He was trying to charge us 1500 for an Airbnb with no furniture. And I'm like, what's the point? We, we got to go get chairs, we got to go get tables. There's no point in doing all of that. But now that I think about it, we really should have did that because it was just like really like a party. And But I just don't know where we, gonna, where we would have got a, like all those chairs and stuff from. But anyway, so like I said, she was our last resort. And I was like, please, please, please let me put this Airbnb. This is the only one left. I need it. I don't care how much it is. I'll pay whatever. Blah, blah. I need it for my event. And she was like, okay, you can have for your event. She was like, how many people are there going to be at your event? And I was like, probably like six to eight. Why? Probably like six to eight. Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, is there anyone going to spend a night besides the six to eight people? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no. So I'm basically just sticking with six to eight people. And she's like, well, if there's more people, she was like, I do have a camera at the front door and there's people around, blah, blah, and I live next door. I mean, down a few, blah, blah. So I'm like, shoot, I'm scared. I'm scared that as soon as we get in here, we are gonna get shut down. But we did it, like we had a whole DJ. We was loud. Everybody, like all my friends pulled up. We turned up, we got drunk. It was so much. Fun. Like I said, I have a preview on my Instagram if y'all want to go check it out. But yeah, it was so much fun, and, and it's so crazy because I just knew we was gonna get kicked out. We had hookahs and everything. Like I had hookahs and everything in my event, bro. Like it was so fun. So y'all know you're not supposed to have no hookahs in no Airbnb. <laughs> I was just.
just breaking all the rules, but I don't care. It was my day, okay? So I just knew, okay, when the hookah boys had got there, um, when they had got there, the smoke alarm had went off, and I was like, ooh, it's gonna get kicked out right now. It was like 6.30. We was just getting started, and I was like, man, we can get kicked out. This smoke alarm that went off, it's over with. Hours pass, DJ pulls up. We got the DJ, we got the hookahs, we got the alcohol. It's lit. Like, we had a good time, and I cannot believe we made it all the way, because it was from 4 to 10. We made it all the way to 10 p.m. We cleaned up everything, and as soon as it's time to go out, that's when we get kicked out the house. <laughs> as soon as it's time to go out, when we call the girl, we like, hey, come on, it's time to go. We gotta go. Go get her. Like everybody's young, we trying to, we trying to move around. And as we're trying to move around, the man come outside. The Caucasian man come outside, talking down, like trying to just like talking the biggest. Sh okay, like I was like, what is your problem? Like you don't have to be rude. Like everybody was like, you don't have to be cussing at us being rude. Which he did not have to cuss at us or be rude. All he had to, all he had to say was y'all are being too loud. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, put y'all out of the place. You know he could have been respectful about it, but this man was cussing us out like we was just like some little kids like we wasn't grown like my grown cousins was there 30s 28s people that's like way older like you're and you're cussing us out like no you're talking to us like we're some children no you're not gonna do that so he basically put us out which we didn't care we got somewhere to go we ain't gonna stay here like i am in, i'm in dallas texas in a city i reside in you think i care about this airbnb no i had my fun by deuces you know what I'm saying? Don't try to don't try to play us. But yeah, y'all, he pissed me off. He pissed all of us off. But we all ended up having a good time that day. Besides that, like that sobered all of us up. Like we was all lit, feeling good. When he started talking his S H I T, oh everybody like everybody just automatically like sobered up. Like we we got in the club. We was like we was ready to get in the club. It was stuff going on at the door. It took us a while to get in the club. But when we got in the club, we had a good time. Man, we, I had the time of my life on October 17th. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was lit. Like, that was lit. Like, I had the, that was like the best day of my life. I'm not gonna lie. I really had fun. Um, so yeah, I had fun for my anniversary event. Um, I thought it was going to be like ruined because it was like the last day before I could find an Airbnb and I just knew I wasn't gonna be able to find one and she came through, the lady came through, but we got kicked out, but we got kicked out, we got kicked out at the last minute, so I, I really didn't care. I had my party, that's all I needed. But um Airbnb has just been trimming lately since like this virus and stuff been going on. They just been trimming lately. They don't even let you have fun no more or nothing. Like people get Airbnbs to party, to have kickbacks, to to have a social gathering. That's what Airbnbs are for. I mean, unless you're out of, you're just going out of town, you need somewhere to stay. But other than that, when you're getting an Airbnb in your city, a city that you live in, you're trying to get a bigger space for people to come and turn up. So it won't have to be a trial. You see what I'm saying? Period. Like, what are you thinking? So yeah. But anyways, um, I do wanna. Let me show you my nail. So this is my nail. This is my set. This is from. I use gel polish. Y'all know I always use powder. So today I use gel, and this is from Nail Addict underscore LA on Instagram. And um, like I said, I've been having this polish since like March and I'm barely using it. I did want to show y'all um, the anniversary collection as well. I dropped lipsticks on my anniversary. I dropped three different lipstick colors, a red, a nude, and like a purplish pink. So they're called Millionaire. What are they called? Millionaire, High Class, and Stuck Up, I believe. Those are the three colors. Um, I do want to show y'all really quick. As soon as I get like to a light or something, I'm gonna show y'all the three colors. And um, yeah, so I've been at the nail shop for three hours. Well, it's 12:51. I got there at like 10:30. Oh, people get on my nerves. Y'all 
like grandpa's. Like I be zooming. Like one thing about me, I know how to drive. I will go in and out of these cars. Like I'm so serious. Hold on, y'all. Let me get to this light up here. But I'm trying to think what else happened that night. I don't think nothing else. Like nothing bad happened that night. Really, like the whole day was pretty much good. I got my makeup done. I didn't vlog the day because I just didn't want to vlog it. Like, I vlogged my photo shoot for the anniversary and it's really all y'all needed. Like, I didn't want to record, like, you know what I'm saying? Record while I'm having fun. Like, no, like, I want to enjoy my fun. I don't want to keep pulling my phone out. Oh, let me record this, you know what I'm saying? Like, there are some things that don't have to be recorded, that don't need to be recorded. Like, you're living in the moment. You don't have to pull out your phone every time. Because I got a lot of people asking me, did you vlog? Did you vlog? No, I'm getting drunk. I'm having fun with my family, my people. We vibing. No, I don't have my camera just in their face. Ooh, yay. It's like, you know what I'm saying? No. No, it's not necessary all the time. Like, I understand, like, y'all want videos and stuff for me, and I got y'all, but to a certain extent. You see what I'm saying? To a certain extent, like down my phone every time like it gets annoying like not only to me but to like people around me they don't want to be like they don't want to keep seeing like um me picking up my phone Ooh, let me record. you know what i'm saying like some people don't mind but some people they don't they don't really like that lifestyle they don't like really being on camera you know what i'm saying so you you really can't just be re recording people like that <laughs> but um so yeah, I did not vlog it, but I did have a videographer there and he like really, he recorded the whole thing. He recorded the whole thing, but I only got a minute of it because I only told him I wanted a minute of it, but I should have got like at least five minutes of it. But I wanted it to fit on my Instagram. Now that I think about it, it could have been an Instagram TV. But I mean, it's all good. But I just know when I have my next event, I know exactly that I want to plan it early. I want to have it decorated. I want to. I want it to be so much like, like I, I'm not gonna say better than what this one was because this one was amazing. But I just want it to be put together because I feel like this was last minute because I had to, you know, I had an issue on Airbnb, so everything was last minute, literally. I, I found an Airbnb like hours before it was time for the party. You see what I'm saying? So it was kind of last minute and it was kind of all over the place. Kind of started late, but. You know, it all turned out to be perfectly fine. Like, it all went as planned. Um, I have a, what's, what's today? Today is November 5th. So, Thanksgiving is coming up, and then we have Christmas, and then we have New Year's. So, for Thanksgiving, I'm getting ready for basically Black Friday. I'm getting ready for that. Um, for In December, I'm getting ready for, what's in December? I don't think there's nothing happening, happening in December but me saving up and me just constantly saying on my business and just like being um more productive with my business and just trying to get it to uh just just keep trying to basically um grow and expand and just stay focused with my business um january i have a um seminar that i am booked for for um for january is it the second i think it's like january 2nd i'm not sure but i know if it is new year's around new year's yeah, I think it is around New Year's. Um, me and my friends are gonna I'm gonna have I'm gonna invite them and we're gonna, you know, celebrate our New Year's in um Georgia because I will be like I said, I'm booked in Georgia for a um, seminar. And I'm nervous, but I feel like everything's gonna go as planned. I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna go smoothly because everybody know how I am. So everybody that's going there, they know they watch my YouTube videos, they watch me on Instagram, they watch me, you know, on social media, period. They know how I am when it comes to, you know, when it comes to you know how i talk and my personality how goofy i am you know what i'm saying they know me like i feel like my people know me my supporters know me you know what i'm saying so there's no reason for me to be shy there's no reason for me to be you know nervous at the end of the day which i'm still gonna be nervous i'm still going to be nervous i'm not gonna lie to you but i'm pretty sure i'll get out of it once i start speaking and once i start answering questions and stuff like that so I know that's gonna be okay and then i just know february i don't really have nothing planned for february march i'm having my seminar in march um and you know i'm just gonna just keep going with the flow from there but that's that's a little update about you know what i have going on i'm gonna dig more into like a business update and you know 
YouTube update and all that. I'm gonna dig more into that in a separate video, not so much car talk, but face to face. So I'll get to that. Uh, we have a light. Let me show y'all these real quick. I can't find the other one. I know Sarah didn't steal my lipstick. So this is the box for my anniversary collection. This is. And this is Millionaire right here. This is like the nude that we have. This is Millionaire. Make sure y'all go shop my anniversary collection, my lipsticks. Make sure y'all go shop my lipsticks for my anniversary collection support, you know. Um, this one is, I think she took it. This one is um, stuck up. So it's like a purple. -ish. It's like a purple. I don't even say it's a pink because it's not really pink at all. <laughs> it's purple. My vendor didn't have pink. And I'm like, how you got every color but pink, bro? Like, what is you doing? So, I want to show y'all the red, the high class, but I don't feel it inside of here. I think Sarah stole it because Sarah wanted a red one. And I hope she didn't take mine. So, let me find it. Cause baby, that's foul if she did. I think she didn't take it, y'all. It's not in here. Yeah, it's not in here. So she 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 literally took my um Sarah took my freaking lipstick. I'm gonna call her. Let me call her real quick, y'all. <laughs> so I just called her. I said, I know you didn't take my red lipstick. She said, yeah. Yeah, baby, I told you I'd take it. No, you didn't tell me you took it. Mm -mm. But she probably did. I just wasn't paying attention. But yeah, so Sarah took the high class. It's a red one. Make sure y'all go shop. Make sure y'all go check it out. Um, and support my anniversary collection and just my collection period um yeah and then i was like uh she was like i took i said well it's not free and she was like yeah baby i asked you how much and i said i'm i'm, I'm, I'm gonna send it to you i'm gonna send it to you don't worry about it <laughs> i'm gonna send it to you i'm gonna send it to you sis don't even worry about it it's not free you don't do my nails for free so you don't get lipstick for free you know you feel me so yeah, I'm about to pull up to the house and in some minutes, in about 10 minutes, but I'm gonna show y'all my nails and it's gonna be the end of the video. So I hope y'all enjoyed this car talk. Don't get in my comments talking it cause I don't do that. I don't go back and forth negatively, period. Trust me, you will get ignored, blocked, or deleted stop playing with me okay but i'll show you my nails in a second okay y'all so it's like what 8 30 p.m and i'm finally doing the nail video but look shout out to nail addict underscore la on instagram for this polish it is bomb and y'all know my toes always the same white with chrome period a set, nothing less than. Stop playing with Sarah. Stop playing with that girl. She is not one of them. Okay? She is not one of them. <laughs> Period. Poo. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. So, this set, well, everything came out to 207, including tips. So, it was 170, and then I tipped. Um, and, yeah. So, it was 170, and then I tipped. So, yeah. See y'all in the next video.